Welcome back. In this lecture, we will learn about the small file problem. We will try to understand what it is and how to detect it and how to work with these small file problems, how to overcome that problem. So, let's start. As usual, for this scenario also, I have set up a notebook and notebook is available in Scala and Python. For this lecture, I will be using a Scala notebook, but Python notebook is also same. So, let me go to my a small file problem notebook and let's try to understand what is the scenario. So my team has as usual build a Spark job. That job is reading data from some tables or sources, uh, applying some transformation, doing some data processing and finally producing the result in the target directory or target table. But team has noticed one problem with this job. So they came up with the problem statement and asked me for the help. So let's see what is the problem. We are reading a full data set and the read operation is taking long time. Very simple statement. They notice that in that job, uh, some particular spark dot read operation uh, is taking a lot of time. Why is that? We have the following question. What is the reason for long time to read data? What is the exact reason why spark is taking too much time to read the data set? That's one question. They also have a doubt. We doubt that we have a lot of small data files. So they have that doubt, but they are not sure. However, how do we detect this problem? So the question is very straightforward. How do we detect whether that read operation is taking a lot of time because of the small file problem? How do we detect a small file problem? That's one question. Once it is detected, they know that yes, if it is a small file problem, we can run optimize command. So they are using Databricks, so they can obviously run an optimize uh, command on the uh, data source to get rid of the small files, right? And create larger files. So we can run optimize command, but what is the recommended file size for optimization? That's the next question. Should we combine small files to create uh, 100 MB files or 500 MB files, 1 GB files, 10 GB files? What is the recommended size of the file for best performance? So that's the objective. That's the problem statement. And we want to handle that problem statement using a benchmark. 